So how will the new policies change the lives of the average Cuban Americans, their families, and their friends? It is a story they have been following for generations. CCTV's Nitsa Soledad Perez has our story. Fernando El Pino lives in the U.S. with one of his daughters. He came here 20 years ago, but left behind another daughter who's now 21. My daughter, my, my daughter left in Cuba. I, I, I don't see her for about maybe 10 years that I, I, I don't see her and that is it's very hard for me. I send her about a, a hundred bucks a monthly. Restrictions in remittances to close relatives were eliminated in 2009. But now with the new actions to ease the trade embargo, people like Fernando will be able to send more money to the island to whomever he wants. The amount will increase from $500 to $2,000 every three months. Your family can buy things to survive, soap, um, food, more, more, more than food. The people live in, in Cuba for food. Sure. You know, bread, milk, kids doesn't have a, the, the vital thing to, to eat. And there are people yelling here, oh, oh no, no. The new changes will not affect how much money authorized travelers can bring into Cuba. That amount remains at $3,000. It's up to, up to kind of the, the Cuban government side to respond or to at least have a conversation about what is it that kind of what is the infrastructure that receives those remittances and that allows them to kind of trickle down throughout the Cuban economy and the Cuban population. For years, U.S. residents have been pumping money into Cuba's ailing economy. Remittances reportedly reached almost $3 billion in 2013. Those in the U.S. who are opposed to making it easier to transfer money see it as a way to perpetuate the Cuban government. We are combating all these measures that we firmly believe will not contribute to Cuba's freedom. According to local survey of those between the age of 20 and 49, young people are more likely to send money. In contrast, the majority of those receiving the money are 50 and older, and most of them women. Nitsa Soledad Perez, CCTV, Miami.